Hi, it's Jenny from Buggy Baby, and today I'm going to take you through what you should be looking for when choosing your pushchair. So not only is choosing your pushchair probably one of the most exciting baby products that you're going to look at, it's also probably one of the most expensive products that you're going to purchase. And there are a wide choice of different pushchairs available. We tend to find a lot of people will choose their pushchair based on the look of it. They might like some of the features on it, they might be attracted to the different colourways, and quite often they're not choosing a pushchair according to their needs. So what I'm going to do today is go through the different types of pushchairs that are available to you, what they're suitable for, and hopefully that's going to help you decide to decide the right pushchair for you. Now it's really important to get it right because obviously when you buy this pushchair you're going to be using it every day. It's absolutely vital that it's comfortable for your baby but it's also really vital that it's comfortable for you to push and that it manoeuvres right for you as well. So one of the first things that you need to look at is what type of tyre do you need and the type of tyre that you need will depend on the area that you live in and where you're using your pushchair the most. You tend to find there's three different tyres available to you. So you'll have the rubber filled air filled tyre, you'll have a rubber filled foam filled tyre, and you also have a plastic tyre which goes by the name of an EVA tyre. They're the three most common that you'll see. So if we go through those tyres first, once you've picked the tyre that it is that you feel is most suitable for you, you can then have a look at the push chairs available to you with that type of tyre. So I've got in front of me a selection of push chairs which are showing us the different types of tyres that are available. And we're going to start off by looking at an air filled tyre. So this is a rubber air filled tyre, most commonly found on off road push chairs. So People are quite, tend to be quite scared of an air-filled tyre. I think they worry about the fact that it can puncture, but actually they don't puncture very often and any tyre that you purchase is going to require some sort of maintenance. So although it is a little bit scary that you might occasionally have a puncture, it's really easy to deal with if you do get one. Um, they're very easy to source a new tyre. You can buy them from a lot of online places or shops and you can easily replace that tyre or it may be the inner tube that in the tire that you're having problems with and again that's really easy to replace so I wouldn't worry too much about punctures or maintenance on them an air filled tire is absolutely great if you're looking for an off-road push chair now the reason why you would want an air filled tire is because the air inside there makes sure that the tire has got lots of give and what's that that's going to do for you is ensure that you can go over any bumpy terrain really easily. So if you live in the countryside, perhaps you live in a village, in some sort of rural area, really you should be looking at an air-filled tyre, which means that when you leave your house with your push chair, all of that bumpy terrain that you're going to go over, so any bumpy roads, gravel roads, fields, anything like that, you're going to be able to get over those with absolute ease. So with these airfield tyres, what that means for you is not only can you go over very bumpy terrain, if you were to go into the town for the day and you've got smooth, uh, smooth surface, these are also going to be great on that. So they've got really good grip, which means they're not going to slip at all. So it's multi-purpose. Now moving on to our next rubber tyre. This one here is a PU tyre, so it's a rubber outer and then it's filled with foam. Now these are really common, you will find them on an awful lot of push chairs. And these are known as all-terrain tyres, so you are going to be able to go over um, bumps on them and they will give you quite a smooth ride. However, because as you can see, there's no grip on them at all, they're not great on smooth surfaces, so they will be quite slippery. It's just something to bear in mind. They also won't be as great on a very bumpy terrain as an airfield tyre and the reason for this is it doesn't have the give that an airfield tyre has and obviously that's because it's filled with foam. So if you live in again maybe a village, perhaps you live in somewhere that's partly rural, not completely, so you're doing um, town and countryside all of the time, then perhaps these tyres would be good for you. 
They're a bit of a middle of the road tire when you don't really want a full off-road tire. You also don't want a real urban tire, then this would be a nice choice. Now, moving on to the EVA plastic tires. Again, these are really common. You're gonna find them on lots of different push chairs. Mainly you'll find them on very lightweight push chairs and that's because the wheels themselves are very light and it's also because they're aimed for urban push chairs. So these will be no good on any bumpy terrain at all. Um, it would be pointless buying a push chair with plastic wheels if you live in an area where you do have bumpy terrain. These are really only suited to you if you live in an urban area. So if you step out of your door and you're straight onto really smooth pavements, perhaps you live in a town, these would be great for you. So I've got two different types here of push chairs with the um, EVA tires. One here, you can see they're double tires, and this is on our umbrella fold push chair that we're looking at. And then I've got these single ones here, which are on our travel push chair. So that's our overview of tyres, that's what you've got available to you. You're either going to want to go for something that's going to give you the option of going off-road or if you just live in a very rural area, which is the airfield, middle of the road tyres which gives you the best of both worlds however as i said they are a little bit slippery on smooth surfaces and that is our foam filled rubber tyres and then if you live in an urban area you could look at the eva plastic tyres so once you've made the decision of what type of tyre it is that you need you can then have a look at the type of push chairs that are available to you with those types of tyres so again we're going to start on the airfield tyre you would normally find an airfield tyre on a freewheeler and the reason for that is freewheelers are notoriously good in off-road areas so because of this front swivel wheel and obviously you've got one less wheel they're very easy to maneuver on off-road surfaces and that is generally why you would only find them with free wheels however there are now some push chairs with airfield tires that are four wheelers so that is something else you could consider but again if you live in a very rural area it probably is a free wheeler that you want so you've decided on your airfield tires and we've got in front of us the Huck Runner, which is a really good seller of ours. It retails at just under £200. It's a very nice, sturdy push chair. You can see it's got absolutely loads of room in it. And with most off-roaders, off you'll find they're quite basic designs. And that's simply because it's going to get absolutely covered with mud and you'll need to be able to maintain it and keep it clean. So when you're looking at a free wheeler with your airfield tires, you'll often find that it's a fixed seat, so it will be outward facing. So if you're hoping to find something with airfield tires that gives you the option of doing parent facing as well, perhaps the Huck Runner wouldn't be for you, but you could look at something like the mountain buggy or the out and about. Now with the out and about and the mountain buggy, they both have this fixed seat. Their seats are slightly different in that they're sling fabric seats, but what they offer you is the option to attach a car seat or a carry cot. So that means that you're gonna be able to put your newborn in one of those if you'd like to have them parent facing. You can, of course, use the seats from newborn if you wish to, um, but I know a lot of people do really like to have that option of attaching a carry cot or a car seat so with the mountain buggy actually you can i believe on the swift perhaps on some other um, makes of mountain buggy um, with the carry cot you can get some fabrics where you can actually make a parent facing seat so that's another option so fill and heads the huck runner mountain buggy out and about you could look at those if you're looking at a freewheeler if you'd like to have an airfield tire with four wheels, you can look at some options in Joy, you can look at some options in Kindercraft, um, you can look at some options in Britax as well. There's quite um, a fair choice of push chairs available. Now you'll tend to find that these free wheelers will take your child up and back, up to about the age of four years. So they give really um, a really good amount of years of use as well. Moving on now to our foam filled rubber tires. 
As I said, there's a lot of push chairs available with these types of tires, so you're going to have loads of choice of what type of push chair it is that you'd like. So you will have the option of choosing something that can be parent and world facing, and also something that could be a travel system for you as well. We're looking at here, we have the Upper Baby Cruise. This is a really nice option. It is a higher price point, so this retails at around £740. And you would need to purchase the car seat and the carry cot separately. So if you were looking at one like the Cruise, you would have to think about how much extra that's going to put onto your budget. The nice thing about the Upper Baby is it gives you the, the best of both worlds. So not only are you going to have tyres that you can use over bumpy terrain, it's also a really smart urban looking pushchair. And that's one of the reasons why it's so popular. But again, if you're deciding on these tyres, you have loads of choice. You could be looking at nearly all of the brands. So you would be able to find something suitable for your budget. Perhaps you'd be able to find something that, that includes as a package um, a carry cot and a car seat and any accessories that you're interested in as well. Now if you're looking at the EVA plastic tyres, if that's suitable for you in an urban area, again you're going to have a whole wide choice of different pushchairs available to you. What you will find is a lot of them are the lightweight pushchairs. And we have in front of us here the Umbrella Fold Joy Nitro LX, which is a really nice choice for an umbrella fold. Now you can use this from birth. Obviously, your child is going to be forward facing. Um, so this would be a nice option, perhaps as your child gets a bit older or maybe even as a second push chair. If you've decided to invest in something that's got an airfield tire and perhaps you want to keep something in the car for when you're around town, something a bit smaller, or maybe you want to keep it as a second push chair at somebody's house. So advantages of choosing something with a plastic tyre is your tyre will be very hard wearing and, and long lasting. However, it will still require some maintenance, as I was saying, all tyres do, in that you will occasionally need to remove the wheels and give them a good clean or a spray and then allow them to dry and put them back on the push chair. So if you've chosen these wheels, and you're having a look at the push chairs, you will find that there's a lot available to you where you've got all different types of options of accessories that you can add. Also, when you're choosing a plastic wheel, you will have the option of going for a travel push chair. Now, a travel push chair is probably not the best one to have as your main push chair, but it's really handy to have if you are getting on and off of transport, perhaps if you're going on holiday, maybe if you want to keep something in the car or at somebody's house. These fold up to a very, very small size. In fact, you can get some that you can even take onto an aeroplane and they will normally come up with... A nice little neat travel bag that you can put your push chair in and they'll normally have a strap so you can sling it over your shoulder so they're really easy to carry so there's absolutely no point buying one of these if you're intending to use it just for um, bumpy terrain it really is only to be used if you've got very smooth surfaces to go over so you've chose your wheel You've now picked the type of style of push chair that you want. You've decided whether you want something that can attach a carry cart or a car seat. And you will, as I said, need to bear in mind the extra cost that that, that may involve. Um, if you are wanting to attach a car seat or a travel cot, quite often you will need to buy separate adapters. So all of that will have to be included in your budget. Other things that you'll want to look at is Firstly, the handlebar. Is it the right height for you to push that push chair comfortably? Now remember, you're using it every day. It's really important that not only is it comfortable for baby, it's really comfortable for you to push. So if you are quite small, you would definitely want to have a look and check that the handlebars are not going to be too high for you. Again, if you're tall, you're going to have the same problem. You want to check that they're not going to be too low for you. Quite often handlebars are a fixed height, um, but however, more premium products do tend to have handlebars that you can adjust. And quite often these airfield free wheelers will have adjustable handlebars as well. So Finn and Ted's mountain buggy and this Huck runner out and about, they have adjustable handles. 
and this upper baby here as it is a premium product this one also has a adjustable handle we have a look here that you can bring up and down and that means that no matter who's pushing it they're going to have a really comfortable push, push, push position if you're looking at something at the slightly cheaper end and quite often that does tend to be push chairs that have got plastic wheels you'll find that there'll be fixed handles as we can see here so these two that I've got here are quite a decent height, but there are some, especially the travel push chairs, that are particularly low handles. So when you're looking at them, just bear that in mind that you'll want to make sure it's really comfortable for you to push. The next thing that you'll want to look at is how easy is that push chair for you to fold? Now, a lot of push chairs these days are a one handed fold, which is absolutely great because you can have your baby in one hand and then you can close your push chair down with the other. However, some of the bulkier push chairs do require you to have two hands when you're folding them down. So you really want to make sure that fits in with your lifestyle and that you'll be able to easily fold it. Look at the weight of the push chair. Is it going to be too heavy for you to lift up once folded? So when you have a look at the push chairs, they'll all give you specifications of the weight and you will tend to find that anything, as I said, with the plastic wheel is going to be light in weight and therefore easier for you to get in and out of a car or off and on of a bus or a train. Um, but anything that's slightly larger, so looking here at the upper baby and the huck, these will be slightly heavier. So you just want to be sure that you'll be able to carry that push chair when you need to. On another note, with the size and the fold, you would want to be sure that when folded down, you'll be able to store that push chair in your car boot. Some are very large when folded. Again, I'm looking here really at the three wheelers and you would just need to make sure that you would get that in your boot, otherwise it's gonna cause you a problem. Also, when you go into your house or your apartment, your flat, do you need to fold the push chair down? If you do, do you have room to store it? So think about all those things when you're looking at the push chairs, however attractive they are, they need to be practical for you. You will tend to find that with the three wheelers, you can easily detach the wheels, which will make it much easier for you to store. Next up, have a look at the storage that the push chair gives you. Have a look at the basket space. Have a look and see what the weight is that you can put in the basket. Most of these push chairs will give you a weight for the child, that, that for the size of the child it will go up to, but also a lot of these push chairs will give you a weight of how much the basket can take. Now, quite often when you're out and about, you will see people have completely loaded their push chairs up, they've put things on the handles, they've put too much in the basket, and what you're going to do is damage your push chair or your child is going to fall out of the push chair when you take your hands off the handles. So you want to make sure that you've got enough storage on the push chair um, an appropriate amount of storage that you feel you need. So if we take a look here, for example, at our Joy LX, we can see we've got a really small basket on here. Now, that might be fine if you've purchased this just to use for short bursts of time. You're maybe not going to be out in it all day. Um, but if you are going to be out in it all day, you'd want to think about what happens when you take your coat off, where you're going to put it. You definitely shouldn't put it over the handles of the push chair because you risk the push chair falling back. Um, so it's just something you need to think about. Whereas if you were to purchase something like the Cruise, we can see here there's absolutely tons and tons of space in this basket. You're going to be able to be out with this all day and put everything you need into there. Now you can as well with quite a lot of the push chairs buy separate um, storage bags that you can safely put on to the handles of your um, push chairs. So again, that's just another thing to look at. Another little pointer, have a look at the size of the seat. So how deep is the seat? How high is the seat? Because obviously, if you're going to have a push chair that's meant to accommodate a child up to about the age of four, you'll want to be sure that your child actually can grow into it. So again, if we have a look here at these ones, these two here, we can see our runner is a really nice high seat. It's lovely and deep. You can see there's going to be absolutely no problem having a larger toddler in here. Again, with the cruise, we have got quite a lot of space. It's slightly less space in terms of this is a lot slimmer, but we won't have any problems putting a toddler in there. If we're looking at the plastic ones, 
the joy that's going to be pretty good for a toddler but if we pop this down you can see we've got quite a narrow seat so it's not going to be as comfortable for your bigger toddler as it would be for a smaller child and if we have a look here at our mountain buggy nano we can see that this is a slightly smaller seat but this is a travel push chair so you would probably expect that Another little pointer when you're choosing your pushchair, especially if you're on a budget, check to see whether that pushchair comes with a rain cover or if that's something that you need to buy separately. If you're on a tight budget, it's really useful to find a pushchair that does include that rain cover and perhaps any other added extras as well. And lastly, before you purchase the pushchair, just check what the warranty includes. Have a look at it. Also have a look at the maintenance that you'll need to do on your pushchair. All pushchairs require you to give some maintenance to them in order to look after them. You'll probably want to look at how do you clean the fabrics. So some pushchairs you're able to detach the fabrics and pop them in a washing machine. Others are not detachable and you might need to just wipe them clean down with something. Have a look at all of those things. You're going to buy these pushchairs. You're going to have them for years. You want to keep them as well maintained as possible so that they perform as well as possible. So if you like the look of any of the pushchairs that we have in front of us, all of these are available to buy at buggybaby.co.uk. So you can go onto the website and have a look at the pushchairs in more detail. I'll just quickly run through again what we've got. So we've got the Huck Runner. As I said, this is a really great choice if you're looking for a basic off-road pushchair. There's no frills to it. You're not going to be, at, be able to add um, a curry cot or anything to it. But it's a very good pushchair, probably for maybe not a new ball. Maybe you want to go from about six months onwards as your child gets bigger. It's a very good price point at just under £200. We've got the Upper Baby Cruise. This is a higher price point. This retails at £730. And if you are wanting to attach a carry cot or a car seat to it, you will need to buy them separately along with the adapters. Both the Huck and the Upper Baby are going to take your child from birth all the way up to 22 k So you've got a lot of years of use from these. The Joy Nitro LX, you can put baby in here from birth up to 15k. As I said, this is an umbrella fold push chair. It's really light. This is about 7.7 .7, um, kilograms. It's really light. It's going to be very easy for you to get up and down if you're going on public transport and to keep in your car. And this retails at just under £130. The travel pushchair that we looked at, we're looking at here, the Mountain Buggy Nano. This is a really nice pushchair, really easy to fold down. As I showed you, this particular one comes with a um, little case that you can put it in once you've folded it down. That's really common for, actually for a travel pushchair. And you can use this from birth up until your child is 20K. So again, it gives you quite a lot of years of use. There are a lot of choice of pushchairs on, um, the, on the market for travel pushchairs. And this one in particular, you can, if you want to, attach a car seat to it, which does give you a lot of versatility, especially if you do want to use it to actually travel with. This retails at £220, and there's quite a few colourways available in this one as well. So I really hope that I've been able to help you just to decide what's the right type of pushchair for you. And if you do want any more information at all on any of these pushchairs or any other pushchairs, we do have a whole load of reviews on our YouTube channel where we go into great detail about the pushchair and the pros and the cons. And if you have any questions at all, please do leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching.